Hey guys, this will be a little bit of a weird one, a quick one, a little commentary on the Great Guitar Build-Off, some people who got missed, and at the end, I've got pictures of puppies, so hang out for that. Everybody say hi to Major Tom. Good boy. Yes. Major, do you think I should move on? You think I should build another guitar? Hey, this is Ray, and this is not my workshop. Thought I'd give a couple last minute thoughts on the great guitar build off and tell you a little bit about what's next for bag custom guitars so first off on the great guitar build off there's been a lot of rule changes and a lot of guys have complained about that and i certainly understand but in my view the rule changes helped when we first started the main rule was you had to use a crimson kit me and a couple other guys were using crimson kits and uh, we started seeing other people entering the Great Guitar Build-Off that weren't using Crimson Kit. I know me and E.R. Webster talked about it. And, uh, well, Ben clarified it. He said, sure, why not? So we opened up everything we had to a lot of other people. You know, by my calculation, the Water Dragon came in, say, roughly 10th. And I'm very happy about that. I would rather be somewhere around 10th than being even number one amongst half a dozen guys. So, as far as I'm concerned, you won't hear me complaining about the rules changes. I think it was a good thing. So, to start with, I think it was Nails who contacted Crimson and said, Hey, can we do a guitar if it's not a Crimson kit? Good job, man. Second... I'm pretty sure it was E.R. Webster came up with the first designation of unofficial. That wasn't Ben. Uh, I posted my first uh, video as unofficial, and I thought I was the first, but it wasn't. It was E.R. So that wasn't Ben's idea. Give him that credit. So on the top 30, Ben's choices. I think Ben may have had a few blind spots. I think there were some pro-level builds out there that were using pro-level tools and Ben may have preferred the guys who were really crafty and how they did their work. Uh, that said, um, you know, everyone he picked was cool. Uh, there were a few I might have replaced, but you know what? It's Ben's competition. I think he did good on the top 30. The top five for sure, every one of those was awesome. And those were picked by Instagram and YouTube. So. There's really no argument about the top five. There are a few I think Ben overlooked, and I think I'm gonna pick five of those and highlight their channels. Not because they're friends of mine or anything, just because I think they deserve uh, a little bit of attention. First one I'm gonna mention is Dave Dickens. Dave makes travel guitars, and he really created some cool stuff and his videos were really informative and were about the luthiery. He had a nice sense of humor in them, but I really enjoyed his videos, so I'm going to highlight those. Another one I think that was overlooked was Nails. Nails uh, started this as a lark. In fact, I kind of encouraged him to enter. Didn't know him before this, but he's a nice guy, and his first videos were really dark, and he just improved as he went along. I think maybe the video quality hurt him. The guitar itself was awesome, creative, and hope you guys check out his channel. He's building a new guitar every month this year. So hopefully you'll get some of you guys uh, dropping by, checking out what he's up to. The other one I might mention is Rapture by Giving Guitars. That guy did a really cool stained finish, light, infused alien guitar that just uh, did a great job. I know he's associated with uh, Texas Toast and got to use some Pro Tools to put it together. Doesn't matter, that guitar is really quite slick. So check him out. So one I really loved because of its whimsy and just absolute size and coolness, Nurse Bob and his axe. Thor has found his guitar, 
This thing is freaking awesome. So I suggest you check it out. I think it's unwieldy, but you know, sometimes rock and roll is rock and roll and you gotta have something big. So number five that flew under the radar, Fourth Avenue Guitars. This thing is a leather wrapped, awesome Explorer and very nice videos. I hope you guys check him out as well. So I'd like to address some of the fair and unfair critiques of my guitar. A unfair critique was, hey, he just took a kit guitar and decorated it. Sorry guys, those are the official rules of the competition. As for valid criticism, uh, what many of you pointed out, I could have just adjusted the neck angle on the guitar when I had the problem with my bridge. I didn't do that because the neck fit was so nice, I didn't want to mess with it. Uh, second, I didn't like the way the stop tail piece was so proud of the body anyway, and I liked having it recessed into the face uh, somewhat. So the end effect was good, but right on. I could have just adjusted the neck angle and made it easier on myself. Another fair critique. Another fair critique. Another fair critique of the guitar is it does look a little homemade uh, with the shell inlays and uh, there's maybe not enough of an offset of the color of the dragon from the color of the guitar. Uh, part of that was by design because I wanted him to fade into the background uh, like some of my photos that I had used or the artwork that I had used. However, the, uh, if I look at it now, I go, you know what, it did not pop enough. I really thought I might add some yellow to the face, adding a green content to it and make the body pop. I decided not to do that, and maybe that's a reasonable critique. And one last confession, which you've already picked up on, is that I never level sanded the face. And nice trick when you can do all the photography yourself, you can skip over the tiny little blemishes that are still there. So I am still working on it. I am going to level sand that face and I'm gonna polish it back up and it's gonna be glass. So that's probably a fair critique. I didn't really finish it. So what's up for now? First off, I'm gonna take just a little bit of break. A uh, lot of time dedicated to the building, to the mixing, and I've had a great time, but I'm sure everyone's seen enough guitar videos for the moment. I'm working on a recording so you guys can hear the guitar. That's something you haven't seen or heard. And I'm having a good time with that, so I'll get that out there. I'm going to do a video of a scratch build I did. Call it the Orange Cross with the Double Cross. Uh, inlaid with uh, maple. It just absolutely looks great, and I hope you enjoy the build of that. And uh, some of the tricks that I did, some of the fixtures I built, uh, yeah, you should enjoy that. Then I'm not sure, kind of depends who's still watching. I'm sure everyone's views are gonna drop right back down, but you know what? The ones that are still watching wanna watch, so I'm looking forward to seeing who's interested. I've got some ideas for next year's already, and I'm gonna do some design from the ground up. So that'll be fun. People have asked me if I'm gonna sell the dragon. I can't get myself to do that right now. Maybe in the future. Keep your eye out. I wanna thank everyone who supported me on the Great Guitar Build Off. And let's keep this going, for a while at least. See you later, be safe. Yeah, good boy, Jack. Yes, good.